Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall telephone and this is Bob's equipment from Florida and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. Now this telephone is made by a company called Crosley and they made a lot of cool designer type telephones and they are a good manufacturer. Bob's got a note with this unit and he's talking about he didn't get anything when he plugged this telephone in and that's basically what we're finding. The telephone does not have any functions and it is not working at all. We've troubleshooted a little bit and we know that the original PC board to this unit is damaged and that damage coincides with lightning or a power surge on the telephone line. Now the telephone circuitry of this unit is basically got so many problems and the tone generator IC is bad. That's been discontinued many years ago. You'd never find that IC chip, you'd be very lucky to find it if you ever did. And so since there's a lot of other damage on the main PC board, there's no real reason to try to uh, repair the original PC board. We want to move on and use a part of that PC board for the switches in the back of the unit. There's three functions, a tone and a pulse switch, and there's also a volume for the audio switch and a ring cycle volume. So we want to take those parts of the main PC board and utilize them. We also want to utilize the ring circuit. It kind of has a unique ring cycle. It's a piezo buzzer type situation but it is driven by a speaker so it's a little better electronic sounding ring than just a piezo buzzer. Since we have those issues that we're dealing with, we want to incorporate a second PC board that has our audio and transmit along with our tone generator circuit so that we are able to dial out and use all of our functions. So we will be incorporating those two boards together. We will also need to rewire the new board into the circuitry and we will need to wire our keypad so that all of our numbers and our redial function will work. So we have a lot of work that needs to be done. We will also need to take a look at the impedance match between the transmit and receive of the original handset to the new PC board that we're going to incorporate with the old PC board. So if we need to change the transmitter and receiver or one or the other, we will need to take care of those issues also. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this unit. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool Crosley wood wall telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting, converting, and the repairing process. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now, and we're finished up with all of our repairs and our conversion, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this pickup in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. I'm going to go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of an electrical hum. I'll release it. Press it one more time. And release it. It is pretty quiet today, but if you hear any noise, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we want to do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you are getting a call. So we'll start that. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to hang up, give you some dial tone, and we want to press redial. And the analyzer will end in a 2. Now what we want to do is transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. We'll go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out. Totally take the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. The time and temperature is coming up after this. To hear the time and temperature, just stay on the line. Today is Monday, December 27th. The current time, 3.14 p.m. We can go ahead and hang up. We'll give you some dial tone and we'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our hand set up. Now that we know that this really cool wooden wall Crosley telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return this unit back to Bob and they can enjoy this telephone once again. I'm sure it's going to look great wherever it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.